Simple Cafe Sound, illustrated tutorials, short and sweet. At the top here, we have a desktop and a laptop. They're sure to have an aux port, which may be labeled with a headphones icon. If you have an older computer, it may be just a green ring. Anyway, this is simply an auxiliary audio line out port, which means it's going to send audio to any speaker system you connect it to. So here below, we're going to connect our computer to our soundbar. Most soundbars will allow you to connect audio in at least one of four ways. The auxiliary headphone jack, RCA, digital optical, and HDMI arc. We're going to cover all these starting with the aux jack. This is by far the simplest, but it's kind of rare to find on a soundbar. But if you got it, you're in luck. Just plug it right in and turn your soundbar on. Anything you play now on your computer will of course come out of your soundbar. Perfect. Next is RCA. Now remember, you're coming from your computer via aux, and to connect it to your RCA soundbar, you can use one of the following cables. An RCA to aux cable, which you can plug in directly. Or you can keep your aux cable connected and plug the other end into the splitter cable, which has the RCA plugs on the other end. Voila! Next is the more common among soundbars, which is through the digital audio optical port. Now here, you will need to use an optical cable because it's the only way to your soundbar after all. You'll also keep your aux cable connected to your computer. And to join the two, you're going to need a converter. An analog to digital converter to be exact. Make sure you double check the order of the name when you pick yours out. Here's a link to the exact type in the description. Now when it comes to the ARC HDMI connection, that's done with an HDMI cable. However, I couldn't find the proper converter for it at this time, but since ARC is becoming more common, perhaps if you looked now, you may find it. Here's what to look for. Exactly, an analog to digital converter and it must have aux or RCA ports on the input side with HDMI arc on the output side. If you do find it, you would need to do what you did with the optical cable, except with an HDMI cable. All right, I really hope you got connected. And if you'd like to help me make more videos, you can actually help keep me going with a cup of coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash simple cafe. Or just look right below next to the like button. You can send me a super thanks. Thank you, and I hope you get connected. I'll see you on the next video.